It's so nice to have a Mr. Mixes Pitalik from Superman. Nice to have him out here now. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> it's ridiculous. But by the way, somebody lost a phone, and I'm envious. It is a flip phone from Verizon. I wish I still had this. Instead of this piece of shit that I got that I can't figure out. I still have a rotary flip phone. I don't have... No, this is... Somebody lost this over here. It's a Verizon... Is it yours? Verizon flip phone. It, you know, it's, it's simple. It makes calls. I love the Russian River. I have the one phone at at t that won't work anywhere. And it's like 600 bucks. I'm an idiot. Thank you very much. All right. So our next guest... Very good friend, a terrific act, and a great person. Uh, her new show, Love Birds, opens this Friday in Berkeley at the Marsh. Please welcome the fabulous Marga Gomez, everybody. <laughs> In your honor, child, I am not going to say the F word. I know people have said it. I am not going to say it. I'm going to use a substitute F word, fiddlesticks. When you hear fiddlesticks, that's a bad word. Okay? Um, I don't see a lot of other children here, but that means you're good parents. You're an only child. My mom was Puerto Rican. She got me a Barbie doll, okay? I don't want that Barbie doll. I don't want that stupid cold eyes from that Barbie doll. I want a Barbie doll. And this is when they started integrating Barbies. Back then, when there was white Barbies, black Barbies. I had the world's first Puerto Rican Barbie. We called her Barbie. She had pretty blonde hair and black roots. She was a stereotype, and that was wrong. Stereotypes are wrong unless you make a joke about stereotypes, then it's okay. This has been uh, one of those years, my friends, one of those years I needed some help, and so I got a self-help book called Women Who Love Too Much. I bought it used. I started taking away my furniture. I bought it used. Latinas do have good credit, except for me. I bought it used, women who loved it, and when I read it, some of the paragraphs have been highlighted by the woman who had the book before me, so as I read it, I started to take on her shit. That's not a bad word, it's a bodily function. Am I right? So all her issues became my issues. I have abandonment issues. Anybody have that? I see all these chairs, it's messing me up. I have bad abandonment issues. I can't buy a forever stamp. I don't believe them. What if I get fat? Er, now, I feel, I feel really bad. I want to know, who has, uh, who has laptops here? Please, let somebody have laptops. Can I have yours? Because my laptop isn't doing very good. My laptop is not doing very good. And so I had to take it to the Apple store, to the Genius Bar. And I did not have an appointment, but oh, they saw me. The geniuses took me in. In fact, more geniuses than you've ever seen. The geniuses came out of nowhere, like Christ on a gluten-free tortilla. They showed up to help me because my laptop is old like my jokes. My jokes are old. Ladies and gentlemen, my jokes are old. They're like my children, but they're so old, they're like my grandchildren. Anyway, this laptop was old. It's a G4. It was made in 2002. And so all of them, the Genius Bar, were into it. They wanted to like touch it. They wanted to hold it. They want because don't you see, it was made in 2002. They were children when my laptop was made by children. <laughs> This has been a, a really exciting year. This is an exciting event. Uh, one of the exciting things that happened this year was that I, uh, I performed on a lesbian cruise through Europe. I performed a lesbian cruise through Europe and uh, le lesbians aren't here, but I am. And so 
um, I speak for all. Um, but the three, there, Europe loves lesbians. We're on this cruise ship through Europe, and widows are swimming to the ship. They love lesbians. We stopped in Amsterdam. Do you know Amsterdam? San Francisco is the San Francisco of Europe. Amsterdam, oh my God. They cater to the lesbians. You know Amsterdam has that red light district with all the prostitutes and the windows and lingerie, which is very sexy. Not for the lesbians, it was sexist. We couldn't get turned on, so they made us a special cul-de-sac, a special feminist cul-de-sac. And in those windows, we saw feminists, fully dressed, building cabinets, <laughs> composting, and rescuing senior dogs. This boner, that is not a curse. Now, um, I did not get high in Amsterdam, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I got too high here at Comedy Day. I got too high here at Comedy Day last year. I did, uh, yeah, and I lost my shoes. And that's really too high when you lose your shoes. You don't notice until you're on uni? That sucks. Now, it really sucks. But it's like, I'm too old to get high. I'm too old to get high. I am so, come on. They're too old to get high. We're too old to get high. It doesn't look cute. You know when you're in your 20s and you get high, you look so sexy. You know, your eyes are swollen and pink. You know, very attractive. Your hair has waved. Your skin is like blotchy in a sexy way. But when you're old and you're, you're in your 50s and you're high, it looks like Alzheimer's, doesn't it? That's not sexy. I want to know, is anybody here from the East Bay? Who's from the East Bay? Thank you very much. I'm doing a show in the East Bay and uh, it's gonna be at the Marsh in Berkeley. It's called Lovebirds, and so I'm working there. Oh, thank you. I'm working, oh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm working at, oh, well, you saw it. Well, I'm screwed, okay. Uh, anyway, it's gonna be at the Marsh in Berkeley, and I'm going to Berkeley a lot. A lot of babies, a lot of people having babies in Berkeley. Let me tell you something. All you having babies, thank you, because we need to fill these seats, but um, please, Breastfeed your baby, it's good for your baby, but there's a time and a place. I don't want to see people breastfeeding on BART. Am I wrong? Am I wrong on that? Please don't breastfeed on BART, especially when you're sitting under the map. <laughs> and I'm lost. Because that's how I wound up in Orinda. <laughs> I want to thank Robin Williams. I mean, there's many reasons to thank Robin, but I want to tell you something a lot of people don't know. He was one of the first, one of the first superstars to, to be an ally to the gay and lesbian community in San Francisco. And I want to thank him for that. I want to thank for everything he's in the gay community. And I want to close with his last, the last joke that he loved of, of mine, his favorite joke. It's an old joke, but I'm going to do it. I am, uh, I'm a lesbian. Uh, and I know a lot of you straight women are thinking, how do I get started? Hey, <laughs> slow down, okay? It's not as easy as it used to be. It used to be, you'd be butch or femme, now it's very complicated. I'm what they call a soft butch. And I'll break that down for you, Park. I'll break that down for you. Like a butch, I refuse to wear dresses and heels, but I'm a soft butch. I also don't want to carry anything heavy, run fast, or play sports of any kind. Thank you very much. Enjoy the amazing people who are here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Comedy Day. 34 years. Keep it going. Go, Zion.